Hey guys, welcome back to the stream, uh, or for the channel, <laughs> uh, for another track guide for the V8 veterans this week uh, from Daytona Road Course. Uh, before we get into the track guide, just a couple of quick mentions. Um, I've got a new couple of things for on, for my setup, basically. Nothing too major, but um, one new thing anyway. Uh, I got the boys at Play One Sim Gear to send me out these little puppies. Check those little suckers out. So you guys are probably, anyone that's in vets has probably seen them already uh, all over their, um, their channel. Uh, they're advertising at the moment. Um, I've never been a, a big gloves fan. Like, I, I just never really thought about it. Um, but since I've gotten them, um, I don't know. It's just it's different. My hands must must have been sweating. I didn't really feel like they did sweat or anything. But judging by the wear patterns here on my wheel, then it obviously does. And I'm gripping the wheel a lot. But I'm feeling with um, a lot more circulation through your fingers because you've got a bit of padding there. So you're not, like, gripping into one spot. Uh, if you accidentally, like, if the wheel comes around, a little bit of protection for your fingers. If the wheel comes around and, like, the shifters hit you or something in the fingers, you're not getting your fingers all chewed up and stuff like that, which I've almost done a few times, broken fingers and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, so far, like, I've only worn them twice, but they seem to be even suppling up after two runs. Like, they feel um, a little bit softer. I have still, I'm still fat fingering in the um, keyboard, just trying to get used to that. But I imagine, like, once I wear them, like, three or four times, run through the wash a few times, like, they'll... I think they're going to um, loosen up really fine and they'll become awesome. So probably something I'll wear uh, all the time on all my races from now on. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show you guys was, um, I only just noticed it for anyone that's into VR. Um, I just found this the other day. Uh, I'll put an image up on the screen. Uh, it's a new headset. So I was talking about it in a couple of streams. Once VR gets a little bit sharper and smaller headsets, It'll just, it'll just be a game changer. And the thing with this, the, the FOV isn't, the FOV on this headset that I'm going to show you isn't um, as wide as the one I've got now. Mine's like 150 or something like that, 140. I'm not really 100% sure what it is. Around about, they say it's advertised at 200, but I think mine steps down a little bit because I've got the lower one, but it's around 150, 160, something like that. Uh, this one's still at 90 uh, FOV, but the headset, I'm going to bring it up here. I'll stop talking about it so much, but, or, you know, I'll show you it before. But that's the, the headset. Have a look at that little sucker. So this is called the Big Screen Beyond um, VR headset. So it's 2560, 2560 per eye. So it's up uh, way over the one I've got at the moment. Um, it's got pancake lenses and uh, OLED lenses as well. So um, your blacks, you haven't got a backlight from the LC LCD screens. You got like a really, um, really uh, sharp contrast trust between the uh, the blacks and the colors and your blacks and whites and stuff like that. So, um, but just the size of them, have a look at the size of them. And just that one headband, they reckon, so my one that I run at the moment, you know, the Pimax, so that Pimax, Pimax, sorry, the headset that I've shown you guys in past streams, that's uh, 550 grams. So that's surprisingly light for what it is, I think. I think that's, this thing weighs 170 grams. So it's like having a pair of sunnies on your head almost. It's it's getting that close to Ready Player One, the movie. It's ridiculous. But um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that image before we get underway. Something to be really excited about if you guys are in VR. Uh, it, the price, I think it's releasing, or they're released to streamers at the moment, but they're releasing uh, late year, or late 2023, um, to everyone around the world. Um, I'm going to actually wait probably another year after that, just so that they can refine them a little bit, maybe bring the price down, see what the go is with that. But um, yeah, just keep an eye on that and see how they go for, for the launch. But uh, yeah, I just want to show you guys that really quickly. I'll get that off the screen and get underway with the track guide. So I'll chuck the old headset back on here. Oh, that is not looking good. Oh, okay, cool. There we go. Jesus, I thought we didn't have any tracking there for a second. Straighten her up. All right, so the Daytona road course this week, guys. What do I say? Like... I thought I liked the track. Uh, I'm finding it a little bit difficult. I've only just tonight sort of figured it out, late last night, figured out the line I'm going to take. Um, let me know if this is the line you guys will probably take, but uh, I hope it helps. So I'll take you out on a slow track, uh, slow lap, quick lap, and then talk you through my quickest lap so far and what I think the best line is, as usual. But uh, we'll get underway here, guys. So I've had to drop the trend stands out in the crowds tonight. I'm getting a little bit of... Uh, Low frames, they are watching the internet in the lounge room, so that's probably not the best for that at the moment, but uh, hopefully it's not a problem on your screen at the, problem, at the moment. Quite a tight exit there. Come through, nice exit onto the track after you get past that tight one there. So coming into this first corner, all the corners are like sweeping, they seem off camber, there's lumps in the middle. I come straight line once again, back to second, hugging this one right around to the end of the curb there, then accelerating out as hard as you can using all the track. 
coming through this one, all up to fourth gear. Not sure if I'm going to take fourth or fifth yet. Fourth, I found you can come through here, get off just a little bit. It hugs you back in real close. You can get back on the accelerator at the we can't say through the gears in a straight line. Back to second. In a straight line. This is a big one uh, for this track I've found. Accelerating out of here. Watch that one. It's got another off-camber dip right in the middle of the road there. At about the end of that, the start of that road there on the right. Under brakes, back through the gears. I keep it nice and tight through here. Um, I will show you a couple of lines through there, but then out on here, we'll just let uh, Troy go past here. So keep it nice and low to the uh, bottom of the track or the bottom of the uh, curb there, like the boom, like Troy's doing there. You want to get nice and tight. Sweeping out, nice and close to the wall now, at about the number two marker, I think it is up here. I get under brakes, all the way up to sixth gear. All the way back down to third, in a straight line once again, coming in nice and close here. I get the brake done. Just off and then accelerating pretty much at that first right-hander there, coming through the bus stop there. Powering out as hard as you can without losing the RCM. Can get a little bit tweaky through the bus stop, check, bus stop section. So just watch your uh, traction through there. All right, so coming up down the main straight. Uh, some guys sit real high up here on the wall. I've found just keeping it close sort of works more for me. Uh, and then at the first marker here, or the last marker I think it is, that's where I start the brake so just here, down through the gears. Getting done nice and early. I come in nice and tight here and then accelerate out as hard as I can. Just watch your curbs there. They can get a little bit slippery. Coming out about the 200 there. Under brakes, in a straight line, guys. And then coming in nice and tight. Hugging that, end of the curb, accelerating out. I'm getting a bit of flickering. Okay, so just here. This is where I hold the fourth. Off just a smidge and then... Booting it back out. See I go into the green there for a bit. Back down the gears. Probably a little bit early on the gears there. But once again, in a straight line. Nice and tight on the curb here. And then just watch this one accelerating out. As you can see, that line there. A bit of a bump over the over the road. And tend to wash your ass end out there. I come around here. Cut the curb. Keep it in nice and tight. Get around and then accelerate in a straight line out like that. Up into the middle of the track. Coming back down onto the curb. Just get out of that as, as tight as you possibly can. You don't want to... These big, long, sweeping corners, you don't want to lose any traction, obviously. Um, especially on this track, it can tend to sweep the arse end out without any sort of recovery. So at the two mark here, just after, in a break, in a straight line, nice and tight through here, on the accelerator, just braking, then bring it back around, and getting back on it as hard as you can. If you start accelerating as you start coming out there, just be careful on it. Uh, can tend to want to shoot the arse end out there and really um, spin the car right out. And this is on the uh, home straight coming down onto the start finish line. So that's a full lap there. I'll take you guys through my quicker lap. So that's about a second and about a second off the quicker lap that I've done so far. And the one I did earlier is a little bit tidier as well. So I'll just uh it here as usual. Turn these fellas down. All right. So coming to my laps here. So I did a 143.8 was the best I'm able to do so far. Just bring you back here. Oh, geez. Bring you back here. Um, I'm going to leave it like that, I think. Oh, take it around. See if I can get this function in F12 going. Bloody hard when you got the VR on your head. Oh. All right. Okay, it's not working. Don't worry about it. Doesn't matter. All right, let's have a geezy here. So coming uh, down across the start finish line. So this is the brake marker just there on the left, the 100 there. I'm off the accelerator on the brake. Uh, it's reasonably hard on the brake. You're going to have to take my word for it because there's no uh, telemetry gauge. I've sort of gotten rid of uh, race labs, but um, it's about half, half to three quarters on the brakes. Uh, pretty hard. I, as I said, I keep a tight line through here. A lot of guys sit out here on the wall and then they'll they'll hook it back in, like keep out wide and then at the corner hook it back in. I've just, oh, no, I have no, I haven't tried it a lot, but I haven't, the couple of times I have tried, I haven't found it very successful, but all the way back down to second, coming into the first corner, as you'll see here. So in more of a straight line, down, 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 sweeping out here, and then that gets you a good run into the corner and sets it up for a good bit of mid-corner and exit speed. Coming out of that corner, just watch it. As you can see, the road here, 
um, it'd be really good if I could get down a bit lower, but you can see the, the camber of that. <laughs> you see the camber of that uh, corner there, just, yeah, it sweeps right off. You can see the car just banking right over there, so just watch it coming out of that corner. Can tend to lose the RCN quite easily. Uh, and these two next curves coming up on the right and the left, for some reason they're really, really slippery, so just keep an eye on those as well. You don't want to take too much of those under full acceleration. It's coming out of here. Coming into what I call the second corner. Just there at 200 there, you get on your brakes. In a straight line, again, these white lines on the road, um, I tend to not go over those. I sort of stay on about those in a straight line. Uh, so once again, braking down to third, down to second, and then coming in nice and tight where you can see that car there uh, into the next, next right hand, and keeping it nice and tight on the curb until you hit the end of the curb there and then accelerating. So all the way back down to second gear there. Nice and tight, keeping it tight, keeping it tight, accelerating out there, and then just using all of the road there. So going up through the gears, uh, it doesn't actually show you the gears there, but I'm up into fourth here. So this is a pretty basic one, pretty high speed corner. You can hit fifth here, doesn't really matter, but it will, if you keep your foot in and hit fifth, it will sweep you right out to the right hand side of the road. Um, probably not a bad thing, but it's just a different line into the next right hander. So I hold fourth, get off it just a little bit once I've hit my apex, give it a good boot. It tends to sweep the arse end around a little bit and keep you more over to the left. Oops, we'll get that off. All right, as you can see there, just booting it in again, keeping it more mid-track and keeping it over to the left there, back under the brakes. So I found keeping it in fourth as well, it'll, because you've got that uh, lower gear, uh, the compression starts to slow you down a little bit quicker, so you get a, a better sort of, I get seem to be able to manage the speed a little bit better into this corner. So you, it's a really weird one, it sort of sweeps around, comes to part of the corner, keeps going around flat and then comes around again, so it's like a a corner, straight corner, if you really want to exaggerate it. So you just got to watch out. You want to come around, hit about where the tightest part of the first part of the corner is, and then accelerating straight through the straight part, and then you'll be able to get out of there nice and uh, nice and quick in second gear. Just come down, keeping it in a straight line. Once you're done all your braking, trailing off towards the corner there, as you can see, just ginger on the accelerator. That's another part of the track there. <clears throat> come back through here. You see that coming out of the corner there, I don't know if it's just that big fucking tar strip that's right in the middle of the track there that makes it look like it's got more camera on it, but it looks like the, the road t uh, camera's off to the left there, so just keep an eye on that. I have come out of there a few times and just, just completely let it up and trying to stay on it, but it just wants to keep spinning the tyres, and yeah, it gets a bit messy, so just watch that one, guys, coming out of there. It's coming up to this next left-hander. Uh, a bit weird. It's a, it's a few different ways you can sort of take it. Um, so I try to break it about the end of this this white concrete here on the right at the end of that you can see i'm already on the brakes but just lightly just get on it breaks really hard at the end of the the white section there in a straight line once again uh and then i'm coming across a little bit later than what you would that's my line and taking a big chunk out of this left hander and keeping it trying to keep it sort of more mid-track to tighter to get a good um exit out of there so you're not sweeping and you're not like really chewing the tires getting right out wide there and then you're like trying to hold onto the arse end as you're coming out you sort of coming in tight keeping it mid-track and then accelerating out in a straight line that's what i've sort of found you can take the other line if like if you're trying to get past someone or i'm not really sure if they're spitting out but yeah this is the one i've found is the quickest so in a straight line coming across big chunk still off the accelerator there as you can see like you passed past the corner and i'm still off the accelerator and still just lightly on the brakes like I've come off here, but I'm still decelerating and keeping the car coming around and then accelerating out as straight as I possibly can out of that one. So coming around the, the bank, a uh, little back straight, I suppose, banking section, um, pretty straightforward. Uh, into this next bus stop can be a little bit tricky. Um, I've tried late braking, braking at the 200, all sorts of different jargon. What I've done on this one, we'll have a bit of a geese. I think it was about the 200 I got under brakes, yeah. So at the 200, I'm off and then on the brakes in a straight line once again. So you're all the way up into six gears, so you're going fifth, fourth, third, um, in a straight line, and then trailing off as you come into the bus stop, keeping it nice and tight to the left-hand side. Um, it's sort of hard to explain, because the, the the mid part of the, the corner is right here. I um, hope you guys can see my hand. Oh yeah, mid part of the corner is here. So you're coming in here, you're coming in, and you want to get your, your turning done as you start, so you don't want to come through this way and then start having to turn back around. You want to come in, 
keep nice and tight to the left and then start turning before you even get to the mid part of the corner so that you can hug that right side coming out and the left side straightening it, straightening it out and getting the most speed as you can. I think I've done it on this one. We'll have a bit of a geezer. Coming in. Nice and tight on the left there. Coming around and then starting to accelerate there and keeping it nice and tight, right, tight, left. That'll get you a bit of a straighter line and you're getting under the, uh, like, you're starting to accelerate a lot earlier than what you would for someone that's braking later and then carrying their speed through the big track, the corner, sorry, and then accelerating late. So I want to get braking done early, get in nice and tight early, get off the accelerator before the mid part of the corner and then accelerating out to get the best speed down here as this is a quite a high drafting track. You'll get a lot of people drafting you down that pit and just trying to bomb you into this first corner. It'll be a, a fairly... um. Fairly big occurrence down in this track this uh, Thursday, I reckon. But uh, that's another track guide, guys. Um, once again, if there's anything you want to know um, about the track guide, if there's any questions, leave the uh, questions in Discord or in comments on YouTube. Um, hopefully, I just got all that. It looks a bit dodgy on my screen, but... <laughs> Can't put the bloody headset down there. It doesn't like it. All right, I'll put it up here, see what it says. Oh, there we go. Yeah, she likes that a bit better. Anyway, yeah, leave the comments in the in the um, comment section or in Discord. Um, if you like the gloves, guys, that's them again. Got the cool little tag on the back there. They're called mechanics gloves. It says it on the on the back there. Whoops, mechanics gloves. So they are quite quite sturdy. But um, if you're after a pair of those, they come in all different colours and writing and blah blah blah. Um, go to uh, Play One Sing Gear uh, and they'll look after you guys. Um, and definitely go and check out that headset. That looks awesome. And, and just the specs and the, the features on it are incredible. But um, yeah, once again, that's another track guide, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got something out of it. And can't wait to see you in the race on Thursday night. Cheers, guys.